Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, Ron, everyone knows Ron, I think by now. Ron just picked this up and he's seen my AR and he goes, Pete, I don't know much about ARs and uh, I just want to have my AR um, kind of like the, how you've got your setup. I said, that's no problem. We can just do, uh, you know, just get the basic DPMS model and uh, We'll hook it up, and here it is. It's from uh, DPMS Panther Arms, and uh, a lot of people, not a lot of people, some people talk shit on DPMS, but there's a lot of guys out there that have this rifle and they love it, and, and uh, guys that are really sh hardcore shooters out there that have this rifle. Um, it doesn't really matter anyway because. Uh, we're pretty much going to gut the damn thing. Okay, this is how mine looked when I first got mine. This is what you want to get if you want to build your own AR. And uh, let's see what we got here. These are about $6.99, and you get it just like this. Of course, you get a magazine with it, but it doesn't. It, it's just a f uh, flat top. Um, I think this is the Oracle. Is this the Oracle? Whatever doesn't matter it's going to be different when we, when we get done with it I just want to show you how it looks now and we're going to transform it similar to mine of course you know Ron don't want it exactly like mine He's, he has his own ideas what he wants but um, he wants to nickel boron bolt he wants to make it a um, gas piston system which uh, Jason from AB Arms will be coming here and we're going to video the whole gas piston system installation and everything just like he did on mine and uh, we're just going to make a nice series with this and watch it come alive. Right now it's just stripped to the bone. And we're going to replace the shoulder stock. We're going to replace the pistol grip. We're going to take the four grips off. Uh, it's just, it's just, it was a lot to do. And I uh, figure while we're, while we're doing that, we'll video it in sequences. You know what I'm saying? But that's this is a good rifle to do this with because... Now, it's not a lot of money, and uh, this is what it's for. It's for, uh, oh, still, still not feeling too good today, guys. Working on it, working on it. We're going to do everything to it, everything we do. So what Ron's going to do is um, he's going to leave the gun with me, and we just ordered a bunch of stuff off the Internet, and every time we replace something, we're going to show you. And then we're going to get it eventually really, really hooked up looking. Uh, he's undecided on the muzzle brake right now. Right now we got the birdcage one on there, which is nice. But he wants something else on there. He don't like that. And of course with the uh, DPMS, this typical model, this particular model, sorry, not typical, is uh, you can shoot 223 or 5.56 millimeter. Each one, any one. Uh, I prefer 5.56. The barrel is actually stamped 5.56. Pretty sure before I say that. Yep. One and nine twist. And then uh, it's a good AR. If you want to customize your AR and make it to how you like it and make it this beautiful machine, this is a great platform to start with. And then uh, you build it up from there. And actually, when you do it that way, instead of buying an AR, if you buy an AR with all that stuff on there, with the EOTech and flip up sights, man. You, it's more money that way. It's less money if you build it yourself and put everything on yourself. You save yourself a, a good 600 bucks by the time you're done. So, we're going to try to get it. We're going to try to get it to look from this to this. Okay, that's our goal. And, uh, of course, I don't know what kind of foregrip Ron's going to get. Or what kind of rail covers he's going to get, but stuff like that, uh, you know. But he really loves the AR the way I have it set up. He really loves this one, and he, he pretty much wants it like this. So that's what we're going to do. So stand by, guys. Uh, we're going to have a long AR series here, and in between, I'm probably going to take this AR to the range tomorrow because we got that new Dave Tubbs buffer spring and Spikes tactical buffer in there. And I want to go shoot about a good 60 to 100 rounds through it to make sure everything's okay, everything's running smoothly, make sure I didn't screw anything up because I do that sometimes. I screw shit up. Okay? 
Alright guys, talk to you soon.